I think we better start now. Okay. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Dhamma friends, now we are going to go to the Dhamma sharing in the morning. And uh, please listen carefully and wisely because there is a Q&A in the afternoon from 1.30 uh, onwards. So the topic for this Dhamma sharing is the name of the retreat. As you can see, dealing with the 27 types of infatuations or intoxication there. They are going parallelly, the same idea. Uh, we will become in, intoxicated with these 27 or in, uh, infatuated. Uh, do you see the slides uh, on the both sides? Hopefully. Okay. Good. The Pali, the Pali term for infatuation or intoxication is mother MADA. Now let's talk about the darker side of these uh, mothers, the darker side, the problem. Otherwise you can learn a lot of Dhamma things. You have to know why is, is it very important to learn uh, mothers. When we are intoxicated, infatuated, not in the physical sense as you know, we are driven by a lot of akusalas. Akusalas are coming up, following to mother. That means uh, if you are not very much aware about whether you are intoxicated or uh, infatuated with one of these or maybe all of them, you are creating a lot of akusalas. Now, even when you are drunk, when you are not sober, uh, when you are physically intoxicated, there is lot of mess coming up but these are even worse than uh, physically being drunk and not sober so that's why it's very important to understand because there are a lot of akusalas that are coming up if we do not understand that we are intoxicated and or infatuated can you think of any moment in your life in your life that you were intoxicated or infatuated not from the physical things mental stuff if you cannot understand maybe while i'm teaching you sharing with you you, you might probably uh, thinking about those moments the first mother jati jati mother infatuation or intoxication based on now this is primarily given in india so they have this caste problem a lot, even today. Uh, caste, or I could say the birth as well. Now, uh, let's take a look at it from, you don't have a caste problem uh, in your culture. I, I don't think so. Uh, but I think you have to think about the birth side, jati. Now, the Pali word jati is about birth. In many suttas, Buddha talks about jati is a uh, pain to many people. Jati pidukha, jara pidukha, so and so forth. What is our jati? What is our jati? Che long a t i. Our jati is manusya jati. Manusya jati means we are already reborn as humans. And then what are the other jatis? Deva jati, tirachana jati. You can become a deva, you can become a brahma. Deva, brahma, they uh, are taken as deva jati because brahmas are higher devas and other devas are lower devas. And tirachana, animals, animals. All the animals are reborn in that tirachana. Now, just because you are a human, are we supposed to condemn animals or are we supposed to always uh, speak good about the devas a lot? Then? Devas are better than us. Right? What are we supposed to do? We simply acknowledge everyone's birth in their sansaric life. If I ask this way, just because we are human, humans in this life, does it mean that we are going to be humans again in our next life? Are we? Hmm? We have to be. 
<laughs> Not we don't know. We have to be. Because in case we become a, uh, an animal, then I think the situation will going to create a lot of problems. Not that animals are bad. Because if you look at the Jataka stories, the Buddha uh, became a certain bird and he became an elephant. So he said that uh, between that small bird and the elephant, he has been reborn in many lives. But not smaller than a bird, not larger than an elephant. So becoming an animal has been a normal thing even for the Bodhisattva. But the idea is we have to be happy that we became humans. Why? If we became a Deva, then we are so much attached to greedy about our comforts. Devas are very much jealous about other Devas. You know that? This is a bad news, huh? <laughs> that you will want to become devas one day because in many uh, Buddhist cultural uh, context they are talking about become a deva, deva is so good but in my understanding becoming a deva can create you a lot of uh, other issues but becoming a human with the right conditions will take you to the right path. Have you ever heard that some devas are passing away due to the anger. What do you think about us? Are many humans dying because of their anger? I heard some people say, I got cancer because I've been a very angry character. Some people are making a mistake. They had no generational link to cancer. Because I know for myself, some people are making the statement that I've been a very angry character. I, I was not tolerating. I was so annoyed even for a small thing. So then after a certain time, I was diagnosed with a cancer. I was diagnosed with stress, depression. I don't try to understand what's going on around me, beyond me. But for the devas, many devas, some devas, they die out of anger. Devas are very jealous of each other because all of them have different, different, higher comforts, luxuries than normal human. So when, many, when you have lots of comforts, it is very normal for you to compare. Right? So it's such a very opposite fit idea, whether I don't know whether you made a wish to become human or not, but you became a human, that you were humans and then you are learning about the Buddha's teachings. So your next thing to happen uh, should be become a human again until you attain Nibbana. So you can practice. If you became a dog or a cat or a monkey, it's difficult for you to practice. Because you have some issues inherently because of your body. But just because of that, we are not condemning animals. Right? So Jati, me, Jati mother means there may be some people who might be intoxicated just because they became humans. I am a good, I am a human, but maybe there may be a human who might think I'm so rich, right? I'm so rich, maybe I'm a good human. I have everything in my life, but you don't have those things. So I'm, I'm better than you. That intoxication, it's an intoxication. Have you ever thought that people are creating Akusala that way? I don't think. You might go to think that uh, greed, hatred, delusion, poisons are the akusalas. But you are creating akusalas with that perspective, with that mentality. That I'm a better human than other humans. Compared to animals, I'm better than them. Compared to devas, I have more opportunities to practice them. But you think that you just appreciate yourself, but do not try to become intoxicated just because of your uh, human birth. Just be grounded individuals, healthy grounded beings. Not try to condemn other human beings or animals or uh, maybe devas and brahmas. That is the first intoxication or infatuation you may create. Uh, following subsequent to this could be a 
a bunch of asavas asavas that can come 